can't even really honestly tell you how long I've really been doing this. I've been doing this for forever. I kind of come from a musical family. My pops always had a studio. You know what I'm saying? I remember him back there doing shit before I even knew what the fuck he was doing. You know, I'm just thinking he just like playing the piano and shit. You know, he always got people coming over. So I think probably around, it's probably like third or fourth grade. He come to me under the act like, man, you should probably start rapping or something. So I'm like, shit, why not? <laughs> shit, we just been, me and my little brother been doing it ever since. You want to shout out to your brother? Yeah, shout out my brother EBK Ben, man. Free him. He'll be home soon. He'll be home real soon. Man, what's up with that pineapple joint, man? You sent that to the radio. How did that come about? I ain't gonna lie. That's one of my favorite joints. You know, producer I've been rocking with since day one sent me that joint probably like a year ago. It's funny it's getting so much, you know, they catching the wave to it now because we made that song probably like two years ago. And that's actually the second version. We made another version in another studio. But the quality ain't come out right, and the shit was so high, we just say, fuck it, we gonna go do it again in another studio. So everybody really fell in love with the second version. You know, we wish y'all could have heard the first version, because the first version was like real raw material, but it wasn't ready already, though. But like, we could just hear exactly where we want to go with the shit. So, like I say, it's just funny motherfuckers just getting up on it, because, you know, I've been listening to it for forever. I'm ready to get y'all some more shit, because that shit a little old to me, but. It's hot though, man. I fuck with that joint. Man, what can we respect, yo? We got, um. You know, we're really putting together the newest label now. So you're gonna hear us saying a lot of things circling around Six Rings Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much a metaphor for Mike and his legacy. Because that's how we wanna see ourselves. We wanna see ourselves as a dream team. We wanna be able to jump the highest. We wanna reach the highest goals. We wanna be known as the best. And at the end of the day, we really just wanna win. So. When you hear six rings, just know that's us. Straight like that. Who all on the six rings? No, it's me, Bam, Chill. You know what I'm saying? It's really just us right now. You know, we feel like Mike, Scotty, and Robin right now. You know what I'm saying? You know, we need the big three. And we worry about the substitutions later. Definitely, 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 man. Any tapes, any EPs? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, we ain't really too. I'm working on an album right now. I wanna release exclusively on iTunes, but. We really want to focus on trying to come bring y'all some more visuals. You know, most of them that's MTV ready, that's, you know, really ready to be out there. So once we get done with that stuff, we'll let y'all know what's next. Definitely, definitely, definitely. You want to shout out your man right there? Oh, yeah, shout out my man. Yeah. He, he ain't talking Chill. to the females no more. What's going on? Get it right, right. You know how that's going. Five. You know how we go. Six rings. You know, the hottest you already know. Damn, it's hot as fuck out here. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right now, we on the block right now. Where we at? Where we at? 35th K Matt. MET, man. MET, CMB. Ain't nobody out here not, man. That's kind of yeah, real. Motherfucker was lit last night. Yeah. But yeah, you, you on the hood, though. Like like Bro said, be looking out for Six Rings. We coming soon. We working on it now. You know what I'm saying? It's the exactly. new label. The new new, new move we got going on. Six Rings. You already know where that come from. Mike, his Six Rings. So we feeling like Mike right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you already know how that go. Start looking at them Grammys like rings. Eventually, uh -huh. gonna be seven rings, eight rings. We trying to go past Mike. Yeah. Where you see yourself in five, then? You say who? Where you see yourself in five, five years? Man, I see myself on top of the world, but I always see myself on the top. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping to see myself on the top now. Tomorrow, I see myself accepting that award. Uh, right now, how that song with everybody gonna fall in love with, dropping the moves, how the shit, you know, making motherfuckers wanna ride the wave. So I don't know, five years too far for me, man. I need this shit to happen now. <laughs> like real shit. We've been working for some years though already. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've been putting years in this shit already. It just, you know how that go with Chicago. You know, they pick who they pick, you know what I'm saying? And exactly. You just need the right exposure. And, you know, I ain't gonna lie, that's hard for rappers in Chicago right now. Gee, this shit serious. Y'all see the shit that's going on out here? Rappers out here getting smoked like dinosaurs, nigga. On my mama. Rap, Chicago rap is going to be extinct soon. It's definitely hard being a rapper coming from Chicago. Every yeah, month a new up and coming popping ass rapper get killed. And y'all think we on just because y'all see the fucking music videos. Half of them ain't even real fucking music videos. Yeah. It's just like, you know, we hit the block, we grab a camera, we do what we supposed to do. But y'all ain't from out here, so y'all don't really see what's going on. These motherfuckers ain't really made a chance. Y'all taking them out before they even get a chance to really get their shit out there to the world. Y'all done kept a nigga with a demo who was just finna make it. 
That happened a lot here, you know what I'm saying? That like, shit happened all the time, everybody know that. You get the clout, man, that's what come with it. But that ain't shit new. Everybody chasing that clout, so you know, whoever got it at the time, whoever feeling like it's supposed to be their spot, they gonna try to take you out the picture so they can, you know what I'm saying? You know how that go in Chicago, it's a dog eat dog world out here. And you even know I've been telling motherfuckers for the long. We've been waiting for forever for Chicago to get their shine on this music shit. You seen New York started this shit. Then you seen NWA with the little West Coast run. Then the South just took on it. And I feel like the world just been waiting on on the Midwest for Chicago to really start doing something. But I don't think y'all ready for that. Yeah. Y'all been glorifying this shit, talking about this shit. And this shit been cool because it's real where y'all from. But it ain't out of hand. This shit out of hand out here. And there's a lot of talent coming out of Chicago, too. It it's real that, Tupac and Biggie going on out here. They just scared to give people chances from over there because of the, you know what I'm saying, the image, the news, and the media. What fuck be scared of you when they find yeah. out where you come from? You know what I'm saying? Like real nigga shit. Don't it kind of fuck wrong. up the business. It's busting here, but it's just like any other city. It's places where you can go where you'll be straight, and it's places where you go you might not make it. Unless you got somebody on your ass, then exactly, you ain't right. no way. <laughs> right, exactly. You better stay your ass the fuck out the way. Even that ain't even safe. You feel yeah, me? Mama, real nigga shit. Even that ain't safe. You feel me? Take your ass out there thinking ain't nobody watching. Yeah. Best way to be out the way, man. You feel me? All that big shit. Ain't even... Man, if you got a dream, focus on that shit and get to the money, G. Right, that's that's the main priority. Supposed Mike to ain't become Mike back game banking, man. You got to get to the money first. Yeah. But we I all mean, know you can't game bank and get money at the same time. You know, street shit is street shit. You feel me? It's just the time and the place for everything. You feel me? You got to know when to put that shit to the side for exactly. a moment to check this bag. You feel me? But, but, but you got to know, though, you know, sometimes this street shit can get too far to where you can't even turn around. You feel me? Like, and that's where it's so fucked up in Chicago because at any moment, this shit can go too far. And, and once you get to that point where it's too far, ain't no, no, nah, it's a truce or ain't no, no, nah, I'm ain't done no with it. Ain't no turning back, right, none it's, of that. It's, if it's on no site. Nine, you feel ain't me? no black lives matter now, ain't none, none of, of that, that shit. They not trying to hear nothing. It's on site, you feel me? Like You do something out here, motherfuckers, we'll get up with you. Yeah. I mean, everybody know that. And y'all try to act like we started this shit. We ain't started this shit, this shit been going on. Right, this shit been going on. It's called just now. It's just that, you know what I'm saying? It's just so much media coverage of it now exactly. that they making it seem worse than what it really is. Like, don't get me wrong, the, the stats speak for itself, but They try to blame it on time, rap right. music. But what the fuck was Al Capone listening to when he was running around this motherfucker smoking shit at 60, <laughs> 70 years? Exactly, like, like the 90s, you know what I'm saying? Like, that nigga was listening to Frank Sinatra. Think about Yummy. You feel me? Exactly. Like, he was going crazy out here. He got a lot crazy. of untold stories. That was in the 90s, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it been, like, Chicago been busting. It just that, like... The media just focuses on it now with all the shit that's going on in the world today. They just making, they, they yeah, take the shit bad shit and they right magnify now. it. Basically, anything, like any city, they take that bad shit and magnify it. Like all the shit that's been going on with the police killers and shit like that. Right. But for a being smoked by the police, you know what I'm saying? It's just that with the shit that's going on that the media t taking a chance to put a, a, a magnifying glass on it and just broadcasting it now, you know what I'm saying? Sure, like exactly a lot happened. of shit, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker get killed. You got some camera phones now. You got motherfuckers going back exactly. catching real shoes. Exactly, that's another thing. You don't even gotta watch the news no more. You just jump on Facebook. <laughs> I remember at one point I was getting on Facebook watching videos, and they would be some everywhere in America. But recently, all this shit in Chicago, yeah. all this shit that's going viral, motherfucking their brains be in. Crazy ass shoes caught on tape, all that shit be out. Yeah. You think this shit gonna change? Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I don't believe that shit. I don't think you can say Chicago. The goal is to make it up out there, shit. If you wanna stay here, that's on you. It's always gonna be that one part of town. Chicago, like the Wild Wild West, this shit been went too far. It's niggas out here who ain't letting shit go. There's new shit going on there that you can't say in Chicago. And another, Get the fuck up out of here. Another Real thing is, shit. you know what I'm saying, another reason why you can't say it because, like I said earlier, shit that got too far to be trying to say. So, Way you know what I'm saying? And it ain't no, ain't really niggas out with you. What up, bro? There ain't too many niggas out here that niggas don't listen to to be able to say, no, nah, look, put that, put the guns down or, no, nah, they ain't, you ain't got to go that far. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't like, niggas out here that niggas look up to to say, look, stop the beat for us, stop it. You know what I'm saying? Because right now it's everybody on their own thing, everybody riding under what they want to ride under, everybody. Listening to who what they want to listen to, everybody doing what they want to do out here. That's the problem, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, shit, if you pay attention, you put the camera down there, you can see the police standing at the end of the block. Don't yeah. see how the fuck well, motherfuckers don't Michigan understand what we going shit like through. that, yeah, like... You can look at America and see how they knocked them Twin Towers down. How long ago was that? That was, was a long ass time right? ago. They still over there. They still over there trying to get their blood back. Yeah. They still over there trying to prove the point that they not going to let that shit slide. So what the fuck make you think we going to let that shit slide? Exactly. My mans ain't never coming back, yo. 
It's Man, always nigga, shit. I got niggas I ain't gonna never see again. I ain't gonna never forget their ass for that shit. It's always shit. shit going on out here. It's just how the media portrayed it has, you know what I'm saying? But like like bro said, with the new technology and the shit that's going on now, it's a better way to get get the shit around, you feel right. me? It's a better way for, you know what I'm saying? Like like you said, make that shit go viral. So it's a more it's people seeing more nowadays, you feel me? Because same shit going on. You feel me? It's just not everybody take notice of it. You know what I'm saying? And like I you said, you gotta wild, know how to move out here. You feel me? You just gotta know Real how to nigga move shit, out you stay your ass out the way, you be alright. Yeah, yeah, everybody wanna shit. be caught in some bullshit. I mean, don't they get me wrong. Right here, they ride too. Just yeah. stand out here, you gonna get caught up in some shit. Yeah, here go they catch the ass. Yeah. Get it. Get so it's a white shirt too. They don't want shit. You know what I'm saying? You see how they be riding, you know what I'm saying? And shit still going on. They put off-duty police officers over they, here We had security. them. We had off-duty police officers over here. You feel me? Like, they got all these cameras around Chicago, all these traffic ain't cameras, shit, red light cameras, police ain't cameras. Shit, police shit. everywhere riding around, and ain't shit. But I, 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 how y'all don't know who murdering, who doing all this, who doing all that? But you can go on that camera and see if I ran this light, though. I'm on you know what I'm saying? You give me that red light ticket. Right, exactly. But, 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 but. Because at the end of the day, right everybody here. wants some money. And I, don't nobody know what happened. But you can go on that camera and see I just ran that light five minutes ago. You know what I'm saying? But you can't go on there and see, oh, yeah, that was him that shot him and him and him. And there you go right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, it's it's corrupt everywhere. You feel me? Like, like. It ain't just end with us. Right. It don't start with us and it don't end with us. This line of shit go very, mm -hmm. very far. Yep, yep. And the way y'all seeing us getting killed by the police, you, you kind of understand why. And I ain't gonna lie, the, the generation's getting worse too. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Like, with every yeah. generation, it get worse. Because you can't play with people like that. They've been playing with us for way too long. Exactly. You got people out here who don't have no guidance. Exactly. That's why so, you see so many people turning guns on police. I mean, don't get me wrong, that ain't what we want. You know what I'm saying? We don't want for the police to want to smoke somebody's grandma because they feel like all black people finna wild the fuck out. But some of these motherfuckers ain't gonna be able to stop. Yeah. My granny ain't gonna be on the front line when it comes to this shit. But one of my uncles and my cousins, Mike. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't got guidance like that. Everybody ain't, you know what I'm saying? You gotta treat people with respect, but. And at the end of the day, they don't you don't get can't that even luxury in life. Blame a nigga for the way they was raised up. You know what I'm saying? If that's what, this what they raised up in, what you expect them to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, if all the niggas know is the streets, gang banging, sell a drug, kill it. What, what you expect them to do? That's like saying, that's like saying a mechanic can build a house. You know what I'm saying? No, he, he specializes in cars. You know what I'm saying? Like, he probably can do it. You know what I'm saying? But that's what his specialty is. You feel me? Like, you can't expect a nigga to, to change the way they was brought up unless you change the, the environment they was brought up in. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, that's all you can do. You can, the only thing you can do is change the way they was brought up, you feel me? That's why if you notice, a lot of rappers when they first start off, they only rap about hood shit, then when they get on, they can only rap about money because you didn't change their environment. Exactly. They didn't get paid and it's all new to them. You exactly. know what I'm saying? So that, that's what they got the most to talk about. That's their most exciting shit every day. Mm -hmm. I mean, who don't get excited running up a check? I know I do. Exactly. Time out money don't buy happy. Get the fuck out of here. Definitely. I ain't never been happy being broke. The money come first. If you can change anything, man. If y'all could change anything in Chicago, what would it be? I change this violence. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. I've been too many little kids getting caught up in this shit. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong. Me, I understand the street life because I, I couldn't be out here by myself as a shorty. But all the shit that was going on, I just wanted to align myself with somebody who was going who's gonna be there for me, somebody who who would die for me, cause you don't wanna be out here by yourself. Another thing I change me. is how motherfuckers in Chicago don't fuck with each other. You yeah, that saying? shit too. That's another thing that's that holding Chicago back on this music shit, cause everybody ain't fuck with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like Understood. you go to Atlanta, you see Rich Homie, Migos, mm -hmm. Luchi, all them in the same video, all on the same track. You see a lot of motherfuckers coming out to the video for support. You can't do that out here, G, because you fuck around and bring this nigga down here, and he fuck around and whack one of your homies, little brother or some shit, and that ain't into it, and you caught in the middle because both of these niggas your man. So at the end of the day, you just don't fuck with nobody. Right. You stick to yourself and you stick to the people that you know are gonna rock with you 100. And that's a fucked up way to put it. And that's, you can't that's, have too many friends out here. That's how it's gonna Too go. many that's friends, the quickest way for you to get smoked out here. Yeah. I'm on my own. And what's so crazy is a lot of the niggas that's beefing right now grew up with each other. You know what I'm oh saying? Oh my like, mama. You know saying? That's the like, worst part about it. Like, so, the number one thing I change is the way the kids grow up. That's what y'all don't understand. These kids grow up scared than a motherfucker, and by the time they grow up to be able to do something about them being scared, they already crazy than a motherfucker. 
They already done seen too much. They already done lost too much. Too much shit you can't take back that they've been through that's already affecting them. So if I can yeah. change the way the kids grow up, stop them from seeing this shit, then we can change, you know, a new generation. But right now, this shit fucked. Only way you're going to make a change in the world is you can change the way all these kids growing up. So when they grow up and they run in the world, they was taught to do the right thing. But we weren't taught to do the right thing. Definitely not. Doing the right thing too much out here. You ain't ready to do the wrong thing when the time comes. Yeah. Like they got this movement out here, like you know, put the guns down, and I understand that. But that shit gonna get a lot of motherfuckers smoke. Yeah, cause I understand that. But I'm in tour with a motherfucker. His homie dead, and now I want to change my life, and I'm putting my gun down. That don't mean he gonna put his down. Exactly. That don't mean he ain't gonna smoke me, cause I'm at the park trying to change for my son and shit and play baseball. And that's what's so fucked up. A lot of motherfuckers just really just trying to survive out here. You know what I'm saying? That's why motherfuckers got guns on. That that's ice why. is coming to America and say we want to change and have an American tradition picnic, meet up, Washington Park. Boy, they gonna blow their ass down. Mm -hmm. Fuck, make y'all so different from us. Y'all don't want to forget nobody. We ain't forgiving nobody. Either. This ain't got shit to do with Black Lives Matter or none of this shit. And another thing is, you can't even be mad at too many motherfuckers for not wanting to, you know what I'm saying, squash this shit. Cause they little brothers did, like and their sisters exactly. been shot, and their mamas been whacked. Your best friend or your brother or family member get killed, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, you, you grew ain't up with that, that. You love the death, you know what, G, fuck, you ain't gonna never quit see it. it. You gonna be like, no, nah, we got a, a eye for an eye out here, basically, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what, that's what, that's what, the violence up in Chicago, you know what I'm saying? Like, Whoa. it's too, it's too All deep right. and too much street shit. Hey, Miss Robin. Hello. Hey, Miss Robin. It's too deep. And too much street shit going on out here to be able to let shit go. You know what I'm saying? Like, How you, like saying, yeah. look, you can't even get mad at a motherfucker, though. I mean, mm -hmm. you can always say. I ain't say, mad at nobody who out here going crazy because they son. Until it happened to you and you in that situation, you can't tell another nigga how to act. You know what I'm saying? How to feel about a certain situation. You know what I'm saying? Because let you lose a motherfucker, you're going to be ready to go crazy. You feel me? Ain't no motherfucker going to be able to tell you, oh, no, leave it alone, man. You're going to violence to get violence. Man, if you need shit alone. If I'm hurting, I want you to hurt too. You know what I'm saying? But but that's what's fucked up. Cause that's how he was brought up. You feel me? Like especially when these niggas flex. Ain't no telling. Ain't no. That's the word. Oh, he hit me or he shot at me. Ain't no. You gotta go get your revenge. Cause you, you can't trust the motherfucking bitch police. No way. You know what I'm saying? You gonna call the police? Ain't shit gonna happen. They gonna keep doing that shit. You know how it go, man. Like little kids steady getting bullied at school. They ain't gonna stop bullying them until you get the curse. Punch the ass in the fucking face. Yeah. That's what make niggas live. Uh, Motherfucker jumping on you every day, catch one of their ass and hit their ass with a brick. Mm -hmm. Catch you at one of their ass one by one. That's what's gonna make motherfuckers leave your home. And that's how Chicago set up. Real nigga shit. You know, I'm gonna stick up for this nigga. Outside. Hell yeah. Yeah, wow. dang. Until that moment that you spaz, you know what I'm saying? Now motherfucker looking like, damn, why he do that? But I'm gonna keep it to you with you. You can't even spaz because the niggas who are here spaz are the ones getting whacked the most because they predictable. Not even. They mad, you know what I'm saying? It better. But, but, but this bad thing, nigga though, who kept his cool. This thing in Chicago, it ain't even that. It be the most innocent motherfucker. The motherfucker who out here really doing the shit ain't even getting touched. That's true. It's a lot, it's a lot of that shit going on, too. Ain't even getting touched, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker still out here. Motherfucker still But it's a lot of motherfuckers that think they can be loud and they gonna scare some shit and they get their ass whacked by a shorty or something. Oh, yeah, that's because that's cause, you know, Chicago. It's a lot of big homies who try to flex on some little niggas who ain't think them little niggas are gonna blow their ass down. Back in the day. And then y'all see the shorty get killed and everybody wanna cry for her, but you don't even know. Shorty was a whole killer. A few years ago, if you seen a nigga who looked like a lame walk on the street, nine to ten, he was a lame. Nowadays, you see a nigga walking on the street, ain't no telling what he got on him. Ain't no telling what he been through. Ain't no telling Scared what he, man, what he finna do. Scared man, faster than a regular man. That's what they told me. Because a lot of a lot of niggas who was considered lanes growing up, supposed to be hitters now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So ain't no, you, you can't even judge. Because now they got concealed to carry here too. You feel me? So that's another thing. You feel me? So the lame nigga could be got a pole on him, but his shit official. You feel me? So he could blow yeah, you down for me. You know what I'm saying? As long as he try to alleviate the situation, he can blow you down and not go to jail as long as that motherfucker right. You feel me? So right you can't even, you can't even chance it out here no more. You just got to have that joint with you and whatever happened, happened. You feel me? You got to be ready to put your foot on the front line at all times. You got a family to protect. You got a life to live. You got a dream to chase. You going to get that fight out here. And that's yeah, one reason man. why we chose to do the interview over here because too much shit don't be happening over here. You feel me? You go oh yeah, we just want some money down here. Yeah. Most of the motherfuckers down here, they in tour with each other, but they all come down here to get whatever the fuck they need. I gotta go serve everybody. I don't get no fuck what you in. Go a block east or a block west. Know, folks, two blocks I west. Serve it's Moles, bust. Lords, folks. Oh, I need everybody money. <laughs> Everything. 
Shit, man, you got anything else? Any shout outs and stuff y'all wanna shout out? Yeah, we wanna shout out to everybody who been rocking with us since day one. Yeah. Everybody who stuck with us through everything. No? We wanna shout out ODC Radio for fucking with us all. Definitely, hard, definitely, man. definitely. Go check bro out. Definitely. definitely. Bring y'all some new shit soon. Real yeah. soon. Shit, where can the people find y'all at on social media? Man, Santana De Nero. Santana De Nero underscore. Nah, Santana underscore De Nero 035 on IG. You can follow me right there. Oh, Same IG. thing for Twitter. IG, I'm chill, underscore 035. You know what I'm saying? Snap, same thing. If you, you know hashtag Twitter, Santana De Nero, you're going to find us. If you hashtag Six Rings, you're going to find us. Any yeah. app you want. But they go fuck with a motherfucker, though. We definitely got some heat out there. Go look us up on mm-hmm. that piff, my mixtape. You know what I'm saying? iTunes. My mixtape, right. right. You can Spotify, definitely grab a couple shit. of my singles on iTunes and Tidal. You got the Apple Music and the Tidal subscription. We definitely up there. You can go ahead, download, and stream that. Yeah, you got a couple tracks up Real there. Real nigga shit. Shout out Karachi too, man. Yeah, free my big brother Karachi, man. Yeah, Damn. yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't He's six him. rings too, man. Y'all see him when he come home. Yeah, come yeah. home in like 2019. They grew up home real soon. Man. They gonna fuck a lot of people here, so they thought it's good, we gone. No, I remember they thought folks were gone. <laughs> Yeah, we back. Shout out, baby. Too. gonna be back. And Bills. I'm also everybody who's been rocking with us. On the yeah. Band. Yeah, J Bills. That's my homie. Shout out my people. block, man. 035. Oh, yeah, I'm you already know. Big M. Money Team, Six Rings, Dream Team, man. Y'all know what it is. Jay Matt, Death Row. Y'all already know. Oh, my soul. Death Row. Y'all see the real happen. Appreciate it, man. Those are dope, man. Uh-huh.